Hello and welcome back to My Own Worst Enemy. I've got a quick unboxing for you today. This is Manila, the Savage Streets 1945. And it says at the bottom here, of course, Solitaire Area Movement Series Volume 2. So the first volume in this series was Stalingrad. And I do not own Stalingrad. I have not played it, so I'm not really sure how this system plays. If you know me, you know I'm more of a Pacific World War II junkie than the uh, European theater. Much different style of fighting in the Pacific than it was in Europe. And I just, for some reason, prefer that in gaming. So didn't try Stalingrad. Heard great things about it, though. And I thought when I, this came out, I had to have it. So here it is. And we're going to take a look just at the components to see what is in here. And like I say, I'm not familiar with this game at all. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Now, the designer here is Mike Ranella. The developer, Roger Miller. Uh, Map Encounters, Charles Kibler. And I thought I saw a note, yeah, there it is, that the cover painting is uh, by James Dietz. We have returned. So this is, in fact, by James Dietz on the cover. Pretty cool looking cover. So let's see, what do we get inside here? A 17 by 22 inch mounted map, one sheet of five eight inch die cut counters, a player aid card, and a rule book, seven six sided dice. So this is, of course, from Revolution Games. And I seem to be acquiring a lot of Revolution Games lately mostly in their uh, the Civil War series of tactical games. So let's dive into this real quick and just take a look. Let's put that cover up there so we can all admire it as we go through here. It shouldn't take long. This is supposed to be a really quick game to set up and play. So here's those little D6s they give us. And these are pretty small, but they look perfectly fine for what you're going to use them for in this game. I do have themed dice. Now, whether or not I use those in a playthrough or not, remains to be seen, but these are pretty nice. They're not bad. And let's see what is next here. The rule book is next. So the rule book is matte paper, of course. And uh, here's the setup on the back. We always appreciate that. 16 pages. And looks like, really, it's less than that because it's just a, showing you what counters you get with the game and some information there, index and glossary. So really, it looks like the rules are about and that's strategy, so the rule book is getting even shorter here. There's history and suggested reading, which I always appreciate. An example of play, so we're still not into the rules yet. Optional rules, victory conditions. So now we're in the rules, and it looks like we're on page seven. So definitely a rules light game, so that's, that's kind of nice. And I'll let you take a quick look here at the uh, print on this rule book. Full color, of course, in this day and age. We wouldn't expect anything less. And a nice looking rule book. So it looks like this is going to be, like I said, quick to set up and hopefully quick to play. And we'll keep going along here. We've got player aid cards or a player aid card. That's just one card, it looks like. I'll dig in there a little bit more to make sure that's correct. There's the... Reinforcements, withdrawals, looks like there's some random events. I always like to see random events in these games. Looks like there's a Japanese side, American supply cost. So just basically a player's aid card, just like I said. The counters, we will take a quick look at here. It is one sheet of counters. I'm gonna, yeah. So one player aid card and one sheet of counters, and we will hold these up for everyone to see in all their glory. Nice looking counters. These look like they will punch cleanly. No center nibs, and it looks like, let's see, looks like they're really thick, actually. Oh, it's a brown core, very thick counters. So that's nice. And of course, the back looks just as nice as the front. They will need to be clipped, but that is not going to be a problem. So one counter sheet. And finally, we have the map. So let's take a quick look at this. And like I said, I, this is, going to be something new for me. So you're fighting in Manila. Now, this is 1945, the end of the war, and the Japanese were already a fierce opponent to fight. But you can imagine fighting in an urban area, it's just even worse. So some, of course, that's where they get the name from, the Savage Streets, just brutal fighting. So here's the turn track. Looks like there are nine turns, the sequence of play also up here. And uh, looks like there's a lot of information off to the side, so there's, you're gonna be tracking stuff over here, making things easier to play. There's also an attack and defense value track. Now the map looks really neat. I've never been to Manila, I'm not familiar with it, but the, the map style 
that looks really good. And this is printed on a hard map, so that's also nice. So nice job from Revolution Games there. I just wanted to throw this out real quick. It's just arrived. It looks uh, pretty fascinating to me. And based on the feedback from people that tried Stalingrad, I thought I would give this a go, being that it is in the Pacific. Depending on how this plays, who knows, I may have to go back and pick up Stalingrad. Okay, so just a quick unboxing. It's been kind of quiet here on My Own Worst Enemy for the last couple of weeks, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. And hopefully you've got another turn of U.S. Civil War coming up and some other stuff in the pipeline. So we will be seeing that soon. As always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And as always, I look forward to seeing you back here next time.